Afternoon, gang. Okay, yeah, I'm back, and not that long after posting the lunchtime video, uh, but there's a good reason for it. And <clears throat> when I was telling you guys about what was going on with the traditional banks and Zelle and all this sort of crazy sleight of hand, you know, magic hocus pocus crap they're trying to do here, uh, a few of you guys emailed me pretty quickly about UPMA, okay, uh, the uh, United Precious Metals Association, and oh, you can get a gold backed checking account through them, okay. And of course, you guys know that Texas has started their gold depository, you know, so they can do something with gold as opposed to. Federal Reserve notes, and a couple of you guys sent me the uh, recent article about Tennessee trying to start their own state bullion depository. Now, the funny part is the Tennessee bill was actually started by my state senator, Frank Nicely. Okay, Tennessee's got 33 state senators. He's mine. Okay. Yeah. Great idea, right? Let's do this as gold back. This gets us out of the Federal Reserve note. Sounds great. Here's the question, guys. Why don't you want to keep your money in the bank? Oh, because then the banks have the control over all your money and they can do the bail-in, right? Who do you trust? Do you trust the banks? I don't. Do you trust the government? <laughs> Probably less than the banks. Why in the freaking world... Would anybody deposit their precious metals <coughs> into a government, even a state government, depository? Gee, okay, Texas is pretty red. Greg Abbott, okay, fine. Tennessee, red. Bill Lee, got it, okay. The whole state ain't that way. The whole Texas House, the whole Texas Senate, not patriots. Tennessee, same way, okay. You don't think the state can F something up just as bad as the federal government? <clears throat> yeah, no. I understand it's sounder money policy, okay? It's good money chasing out the bad money, i.e. gold, which is real money, chasing out Federal Reserve notes, which is monopoly money, okay? Yes, I understand that concept. But no. I'm not going to deposit my gold, my silver, my copper, my what am I, platinum, my palladium, my whatever, in the state. So the state goes, you know what? The U.S. government was able to do this for so long. We could do it too. Let's just start borrowing against the gold we have. Because what is, what's the, the reason? The states are all saying, gee, this will have a sound money and more, more other states will want to do banking in our state because we use sound money and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. True. Okay. You want to go to gold backed dollars or whatever it is, not gold backs. Okay. Don't, I've talked to you guys before. You're paying three times the value of gold for those gold backs. Okay. That's stupid investing. Uh, but yeah, they're great for novelties, but not sound financial po uh, policy. You want to make gold and silver legal tender? Use gold and silver coins, okay? They're trying to play off, including Tennessee, all right, Texas, whatever it would be, the convenience of being able to write a check or use a credit card and it'll automatically come out of your gold account, like UPMA says. Oh, if you buy a gold coin, you know, for, let's just hypothetically say to make the numbers quick, okay, $2,000. We're not quite there. We'll be there soon. If you went to sell it back, you're only going to get $1,900. If you put the money here, we'll give you the full $2,000 value of your gold. True, okay? Supposedly, that's what they're saying. Promises are like assholes, okay? Uh... But here's the thing. I'll just take my gold because as long as it's in my hand, you've got to take it from me physically, okay? If I go deposit 
deposit it into one of these bullion depositories, now the state can take it from me. They already have it, okay? I've given them everything. It sounds great. It's not, it, it's doing nothing different. It's, again, taking your wealth away from you. It's no different. The state could do the exact same thing with your gold that the banks can do with your dollars. Where does that protect anybody? It doesn't, okay? The only safe place to have anything is in your own possession. As soon as you give somebody else the possession of holding it, they got it, okay? And now what are you gonna do? Go to court and try to get it back? You know, what's the old saying? Possession is nine-tenths of the law? There you go, all right? Do not think this is a good idea by any means. If they want to put their gold in there, fine, go ahead. But how long does it think you're gonna, it's going to take any state to go, we'll just borrow against it? And we're right back in the same mess we were again, maybe a generation down the road. But let's say what I've been saying forever, you know, that balkanization is coming. You're now, you're now starting to hear uh, balkanization be talked about by like uh, Judge Napolitano. He was on uh, Alex Jones the other day uh, talking about us breaking up into six or seven different republics or whatever. How long do you think it's going to take all these different republics? Let's say Texas winds up seceding and becoming their own country. Very possible. Very hopeful. I hope that hope it happens. Okay. I hope Tennessee and some of the other southern states wind up doing the same thing. But how long does it th do you think it takes these politicians to go, gee, we can borrow against this money? Or you know what? Screw it. We're just going to confiscate this money. No. N-O, end of story, do not give it up to anybody. It sounds like a great idea. They're only doing it for convenience. Well, you can still use your credit card. It's just backed by gold now instead of the full faith and credit of the United States. Great. Who, hold, who, hold, who holds the true asset? Not me. Therefore, I don't own it. Guys, this is a shell game, okay? They're making it sound great, but all you're doing is giving your wealth to them to mismanagement, to mismanage, okay? Anybody trust a politician? Not as far as I can throw them. I don't care if it's on the state level, the federal level, the city level, the county level, the school board level, whatever. Every single one of these entities has proven that they cannot be trusted why in the freaking world would anybody want to think that this is a good idea to say, gee, but it's my state, it's not the country, because those politicians are so much more trustworthy, right? Think about it. <laughs> my opinion, don't do it. I'm all out.